When we signed this project, I wanted to choose a weakness to overcome that would, I would really benefit from. I didn't want to do the project just to do it. I wanted to be able to come out of this project with a new set of skills and an enhanced mindset. So the weakness I chose was my avoidance of doing things I'm not good at. I do not like to be bad at things because when it comes to how I view myself, I'm a perfectionist and I like to be good at everything I do. So when I am bad at something, I feel as if I've disappointed myself. This trait has kept me from being outgoing, trying some new things in areas I'm not comfortable in, and leaving my comfort zone. The action I chose to overcome this weakness was soccer. This was because it is such a staple sport throughout Naperville, and so many of my friends play it. So whenever they would ask me to play too, I would hesitate because I was never as good at it as I wanted to be. The most beneficial action for me to have done was to have joined a soccer team. This would have mimicked my experience in seventh grade when I felt I was the worst player on my team. I would see how my teammates were doing and I would feel so discouraged that I wasn't doing as well as them. This made me no longer love a sport I used to love and that's why I didn't try out in eighth grade. So I hope that by being on a soccer team I would be in a similar situation that I could make better choices as to how I would react to the situation. But because of my athletic and academic demand, I couldn't do this. So instead, I got lessons from my peers. This was still extremely beneficial because I had to become comfortable playing alongside my peers who excelled in a sport that I didn't have much talent in. So it's important to remember that my goal throughout this semester was not to develop my soccer skills. And while I did work on my kicking and aiming skills, the point of it was to be okay with being bad at it. Now when I say this, I don't want you to think that I was okay being bad and I wouldn't continue to grow. I would still try to grow, but I, I didn't want to become intimidated when I wasn't as good as I wanted to be. So to demonstrate this weakness a bit further, I came up with this visual. And it's, important, and it's important to understand that the idea of a comfort zone has a lot to do with my weakness because I wasn't comfortable doing things I was bad at because I was out of my comfort zone. So at the beginning of this project, and through much of the project, this is me. And whenever an opportunity would arise for me to leave my comfort zone, I would only take it if it was something I thought I'd be good at. So for example, in track, when my coach asked me to try pole vault, and it was something I'd never done before, I took that risk, but only because I thought I'd be good at it because I did other jumps. So this got me to the edge of my comfort zone, and, but never quite got me out of it because I wasn't taking risks no matter what, whether I thought I'd be good or bad at it. And I hoped by the end of this semester, I would be like this person who took risks whether or not they thought they'd be good or bad at it. So, um, in this video, you can see how at first I'm extremely uncomfortable and when I mess up, I become intimidated and frustrated. But as I work through it and as I overcome this weakness, I become comfortable and okay not being at the same level that my friends are at. And did I overcome this goal? And my, and my goal was to become comfortable doing things I'm bad at. I did not achieve this goal. I did become comfortable playing soccer alongside my friends when I wasn't as good as them, but I didn't, over, I didn't overcome the goal of being completely comfortable doing everything I'm bad at. But I learned that that was okay. Because this is a goal that's so ingrained in my life that it's going to take time and experience to overcome. But I'm still extremely happy that I did this project because it made me realize it was even a weakness of mine. So now I have some new skills that I can use to, and I, I can keep them in my head my whole life so I can start to slowly but surely overcome this weakness. And I learned throughout this project that leaving your comfort zone is hard because there would be moments in, during the semester where I could have stayed or left my comfort zone. And I normally choose just to stay in it because that's the easier choice. So in conclusion, I have had a mindset shift, not completely where I want it to be, but it is definitely getting there. I have become comfortable um, 
around people who are doing better at something than I am. I can laugh off when I make a mistake instead of being intimidated. I use for any frustration I have as motivation to become better. And most importantly, I'm okay being bad at something while still trying to grow. Any questions? Uh, so now, sixth or seventh grade, was that uh, soccer? Was that the sport soccer? Oh, I also? Didn't say basketball. Okay. <laughs> oh, it was basketball. Okay, great. This was outstanding. Good. And you only had like five minutes and 34? 522. 522. You had your minute in, you're at 630. Very good. You're, uh, the thing that you need to work on, and I know that you're looking at the video camera, but the thing is, I told you we're sitting here mm -hmm. from that, so I needed to see that span. You know, so you were looking there sometime, but you didn't look at the, these are all heads here, mm -hmm. all the way over there. And so you have to, and that's what I do when I do my presentations. I actually walk and I go from that side to that side. And I'm look, I'm actually looking at people mm -hmm. in it. I pick a person over there, I pick there, and then I look for feedback and people that are nodding or doing that. I go in and talk to them, you know, so. Mm -hmm.